Good day. It is amazing here today. I'm on the Bruce Peninsula, which is in southern Ontario between Lake Huron behind me and Georgian Bay. And today I'm heading up to a little town called Tobermory, where there's a national marine park called Fathom 5 Marine Park. It's incredible diving. The water is crystal clear. When you have the nice blue skies like today, the water looks turquoise like you're in the Caribbean or something. But there's a couple incredible shipwrecks that I want to check out. There's thousands of shipwrecks in the lakes, maybe hundreds. I don't know. There's a lot of wrecks around. But even in this park, there's 22 that are relatively easy access. I'm going to take the paddleboard up there and jump in the water, do some snorkeling, just explore a bit. So it's about a one hour drive up to Tobermory. Gonna rip it up there, get the paddleboard in the water. I got some spins and some snorkels and gonna have a little swim while I still can. Yeah, just make sure I don't forget some important things. There's a surfboard in here. So I've got the paddle and the board I'll put on the roof. And then I'm going to bring a life jacket, although I'm hanging out just in the main harbor today, so I probably don't need it. And I'm going to bring a leash just for safety's sake, in case I fall off the board, you don't want to lose the board. All right, so I've got a leash. I think the life jacket's in the car. And we should be sweet. Here we go. So I'm just checking the forecast here. You want to make sure it's not too wavy because we're going up right around the point here and the weather can get pretty hectic. So animation wise, it looks all right. We're not going to get anything much till uh, next tomorrow. I guess it picks up. Um, and I did want to check water temperatures too. So if I go back here, back to the previous page, this website's amazing. You can Check the uh, surface temperature of Lake Huron there. And let's see, uh, the water gets very deep around Tobermory Point here. And this part kind of in the middle of the lake is the deepest. And you can see that's reflected by temperature. So we're talking, wow, 10 degrees in the middle of the lake um, around the point here. Actually, that's warmer than I thought, which maybe is above 15 degrees. So that's actually pretty good, but I have wetsuit and all that gear and I'll definitely wear it because you can get cold pretty quick in that water. is one of my favorite times to be up here it's so quiet I mean after Labor Day the tourism just drops off completely so you can get the beach to yourself you come here on a weekday like today and it's just so quiet and pretty so the Tobermory and Bruce Peninsula National Park and Fathom 5 Marine Park they get really busy in the summer booked up there's tour boats and glass bottom boats and people take trips to flower pot island and all kinds of people hanging out in the village but today should be a different story so we're getting into Tobermory here the little village there's two harbors there's Big Tub and Little Tub. So I'm gonna to go to Big Tub. There is a lighthouse there. There's a couple parking spots if you loop around. And uh, luckily it doesn't look too choppy out there. And I would like to do some of these farther explorations at some point, but I really wanna wait for a non-windy day, especially if I'm doing it on the paddleboard. Just for safety and for energy sake because it's pretty hard to paddle out there when you get a lot of waves. Now so here's the spot right at the lighthouse. You got Big Tub Harbor inside here. Little Tub Harbor is around that point. 
And let's see if there's any boats out today. Probably not. And I think I did make a good choice today not to go out to the island. It's not super wavy, but it is very windy. But inside the harbor here, pretty calm. Just gorgeous water. So I'm gonna launch in here and then the wrecks are actually kind of right on the far part around the point there. Now if we succeed in getting the wrecks shots here, get some snorkeling done, uh, we're gonna go check out the other ones which are in the Little Tub Harbor. I've been here so many times and I think there's four wrecks in the same place. And I've never been, not even to look at from land, so it should be pretty cool if we can check that one out too. And it looks like I'm just in time for the Chichimon to be coming into town from Manitoulin Island. It's a ferry. Goes across the channel. I'm ready to go here. I'm overheating. It's very warm. This is a 4-3 uh, wetsuit. The water is uh, the water is definitely cool, uh, but the air is super warm. So I might need to hop in at some point to have a have a swim just to cool off. But got my gear bag. Nothing really waterproof needed in there, but it's a dry bag anyway. Very basic. That might be a bit too basic, but it should work, hopefully. Uh, maybe I'll loop it around. So this one's called the Sweepstakes. Most of the wrecks here are about 100 to 150 years old. Apparently this one was wrecked out on another island uh, just past us over here, and then they towed it into the harbor where it sank. So that's the one we're gonna go check out. too hot for this wetsuit right now. I'm roasting. Been out for like 30 seconds. I'm too hot. I need a dip right now. Okay. That's cold. That's pretty cold. Oh. So we're almost there. I've only been paddling five minutes. Super mellow. The bay is protected. And there's some white buoys marking the wreck. So it's incredibly easy to find and the visibility does look good it's a little better when the water is completely calm but we'll see if we can catch it right from the top without even going in the water first very clear you can see how shallow it is though danger bay see if we can get a good look at it almost out of the water. Look at that piece. This is the sweepstakes right here. Let's see if I can get a spun around and have a look at the whole thing. It is big though. Oh yeah, there you go. You get the whole shape of it there. So I, I guess that other one I was looking at a minute ago over that way is either from the same wreck or maybe a different one. Let's go right over the whole thing. Crazy. And the wind keeps pushing me as soon as I stop to take a look. I'm gonna keep the leash on the board for safety. And you're not supposed to penetrate this wreck at all with your scuba or snorkeling, just so it doesn't get damaged. And for safety too. 
I'm just gonna have a snorkel on the top. I forgot my fins, but that's okay. It's it's shallow enough. I just need to hang it on the top of the water, really. All right, so I'm gonna get my mask on, my hat. Hopefully the mask works with the hat. Oh yeah, toasty. Underwater delights. Nothing looks cooler than snorkel gear. Woo. when you're under the water. And the visibility is, I don't know I'm diving too well the terms, but it is clear. You can see so far. see if it is a different wreck or maybe just pieces off this one. I couldn't quite tell from on top. It's a lot bigger than it looks once you get underneath. It's super shallow too. There's a spot where you could basically stand. Obviously a different wreck completely, and it is way bigger than I thought. It's almost the same size as the other one. I had no idea that there was a second one here. It shows you how much I know. I'll look that up. But yeah, definitely worse for wear. I don't know if it's been down here longer or just got smashed by a worse storm, but it is crazy looking. So I'm gonna hop back in the car and uh, drive around to the other side and we'll see if we can catch those other four wrecks that are all together. I think three of them are named and the other one is a, a mystery. So paddle back over that to the car and get on the road. So it's definitely a lot more work to paddle back. 
So that was 10 times cooler than I was expecting. Seen it above the water from the boat or a kayak or a paddleboard before, but that is way different when you get the underwater 3D view. It's way deeper than you think. So many different parts of the ship. The larger wreck there, the sweepstakes, it's huge. I mean, it, it must be over 150 feet or something like that. And that second one that I thought was just wreckage from something else, it is a full-on other ship. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. They were both very well preserved, a lot of different parts exposed, and I can't believe how shallow and easy access it is. So, I mean, it's basically in my backyard in a sense. It's definitely way more interesting than I thought. So I'm gonna drive now to Little Tub Harbor. I've still got the wetsuit on. It's too much of a pain in the butt to take off when it's wet and you get cold. So I just threw the board up on the roof and it should only take me a few minutes to get to the other spot, which I've never been to at all. I mean, I'm sure I've walked by on the sidewalk, but definitely never been in the water there. So. So now we're just at the other side at Little Tub Harbor. You can see right inside there, the little town of Tomori where the Canada flags are. And apparently there are four tugboats right in here. I don't even need the paddleboard. I'm right on the street at Earl and Bay Street. I'm just gonna pay for parking. You get one hour. And hopefully this is easy to find. I'll grab the snorkel, suit up again. And it should be easy, fingers crossed. I think I found the fourth and last one. Not found, they're pretty easy. They're right here. It's not hard, but <laughs> I just parked over that way. Right by the wooden dock is where I got in. Here's the last one. That was awesome. Highly recommended. Come to Tobermory. Ah, definitely gonna explore some more shipwrecks. Maybe not this season, but once the weather warms up. And